Hello everyone and welcome back to Call of Duty News, the most reliable news source for Call of Duty Entertainment. Now you're probably wondering, why are we not in the studio right now? Well, since our last broadcast, we actually got in trouble from the CDC. Something about not wearing masks in the studio. I don't know. So we temporarily got shut down, but we're not going to stop reporting the news. I'm going to do it here from my home office and keep bringing you guys the most top stories in Call of Duty Entertainment. So let's get right into our top stories. Our top story of the week is Call of Duty Cold War just released Season 1. In Season 1, they brought a bunch of new guns, skins, characters, and even some old maps from the old Call of Duty game. I heard Macon Day was making an appearance along with Nuketown47 from Call of Duty 3. I've already seen a lot of players happy that they brought back Raid from Black Ops 2, and I was streaming the other day, and players in the lobby were just thrilled about it. Plants to shovel snow? What the fuck is a Raid? <laughs> Did you hear that, Game Chat? But like every Call of Duty with a new launch, it is not gonna go swimmingly. There was actually a bunch of reported errors for different users trying to join games. It got reported that all players on the PSP could not join servers for the new map. If you try to join Nuketown or Raid, it just did not work for PSP players. This came as a big outrage in the community and they had to temporarily shut off crossplay for all players. So everyone's happy again, but some players are still upset that they couldn't load their PSPs. Along with the new maps comes new gun skins for the snipers. A lot of the sniping community will love that. But unfortunately, the new skins aren't even all available in the Call of Duty store. You actually have to go to Warzone to view the rest of them. And it just makes people upset. And it just makes people upset who bought the season pass not knowing that other skins were actually in the store from Warzone. It looks pretty nice, but the attachments make it really slow. Yeah, but to be honest, I wouldn't recommend this camo. It's really not that worth it, and it really doesn't make that much of an impact on your gun. But the problem is with this gun is when you change the attachments, it actually changes the barrel from gold to this gross looking black. And it really takes away the one cool thing about it. The diamond camo also is like exactly like it was before the variant. That is going to be another L for Call of Duty this year. But for some positive news, the snipers in Call of Duty Cold War actually got buffed for new Season 1. That's right, at 2 a.m. the night before Season 1, they buffed the new snipers and they all increased the ADS and fire rate. As you can see on this video right now. That's right guys, the snipers have finally been buffed. Unfortunately, no one can use them because the new patch actually decreased the fire rate and ADS speed. So we're back to the old shitty snipers that we got on launch. We do have reports that new snipers will be added to the game in season 12 in 2022 though. So that's some good news. Other than that guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the game. I certainly am playing it here at my home office and I love streaming it. If you guys ever want to check me out, link in the description to my stream. Any other news you want me to cover, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Tweet at me on my Twitter. Always looking for the new top stories. Other than that, we are out. Deuces. Audio jungle.